So here in Inkscape, we're going to have a look at a couple of tips and tricks for working with the background color when we change it. So if we go to File and Document Properties, you can see in the Page Properties, we can change down at the bottom the background color. So if we click on this background color window, we get a few different windows that pop up and we can basically select which way we want to kind of modify our background color. I'm going to use RGB as the color format that's most common when you're working for screen. So eventually these posters are going to be viewed on screen. So this is a good way to change it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is pull up my alpha channel so that my background would be in this case fully white. But then I'm going to add some color to it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of background color here just by sliding these sliders. And I'm just going to mix up the red and the green here so we get this blue background. Okay, so we'll close this now, and I'm going to close up this for a moment. Now the problem comes uh, when we're working in Inkscape when we start to create shapes that run across the edge of our document. So it makes the whole background blue, which makes it really hard to see where the edge of our document is. So we can obviously change the color of our shapes that we're using in our design here. We can make different shapes and so on and so forth, but we want to be able to see that edge. So if we come into file and document properties you can see we've got this option to border or show the border on top of the drawing so basically now you can see when i toggle that it's going to show the edge of my design on top of that drawing so if we just close this i'm going to grab this one above we'll just rescale this and pull this up and we'll select the text here. And I'm just going to change the text color to white. So before I change the scale here, I'm just going to lock the width and height and increase this up. And that's going to keep everything in proportion. And then I'm going to go to File export PNG image, and then we'll get this export option on the right hand side. So in here, um, basically, we've got these options to um, export the area. So the selection, uh, the entire page, which is what I want to do. And then when I'm exporting out the page, I want to make sure my resolution is nice and high. So I'm going to set my pixels per inch to 300, which is going to make this a lot larger. So a nice size PNG. And then I'm going to export it out to the desktop. So we'll hit export. And now if we jump to that image on the desktop, you can see it's exported out. And because we selected that page option up here, it's restricted that export out um, to the page size. So we don't need to worry that this background here is blue because we can see the edge. And when we design our poster, which will look totally awesome, rather than just a couple of blocks of colors like we have here, then um, you will have the size of PNG that you want at a nice high resolution. So I hope this is helpful, um, helps you to work with the background color and then also looks at how we kind of export out just the page. Um, if you have any questions, then drop me a message. Otherwise, I hope this tutorial was useful.